What's up, YouTube? JDE Reacts. How y'all doing, man? Um, got another reaction video for y'all. Uh, so yeah, uh, reaction. Let's get to it. Before we get into this reaction, y'all know what to do. Y'all know the usual. Y'all know the routine. Subscribe. Smash that subscribe. Hit the like for this video. Further on, so we got a reaction on CJ on 32s. Um, so I wanted to do a reaction on him. Um, I haven't really did a reaction to him, so this is a little special video too. Um, you know, I watch his content. I am a fan. I am a subscriber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I fuck with this 32 movement. Uh, so yeah, we doing a reaction on him. I haven't did a reaction on him. I should have, but I'm just, you know, I just wanted to step outside the box, do reactions on more YouTubers, more people, um, different type of video, different type of content. Wanted to switch it up. Wanted to alternate a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you feel me? So yeah, uh, this is his latest video, latest upload. I warned him about picking up different women every day. Uh. I think he referring to Marty Moore. If y'all know who Marty Moore is, you know he be on his channel a lot. He also got his own YouTube. If y'all wanna go on his channel, see him. You know he on YouTube. Just look and search Marty Moore. Search Thirty Two Gang. You know something like that. Or go on CJ Page. You know he might. If you wanna watch him on his page, go to his page from CJ Page. But let's get on to the video. So we just gonna get straight into this reaction. Um, well, I'm assuming Marty Moore got set up. You know, cause he a ladies man. Uh, from what I heard, from what I seen. Um, so basically, uh, you know, not all it, not, not all pussy is good pussy. Not every girl is a good girl. Not every girl is good for you. You know, you got some people that got bad or wrong intentions. And, you know, you got to watch out for that, especially if you got a name for yourself, you got money, and, you know, you got success. Certain people you can't trust, certain people you can't hang around. But I don't know what happened exactly. That's why I'm doing the reaction so we can see what happened together so y'all can watch it with me. If y'all have not watched it on the original page, the original copyright owner yet, which is CJ on 32. So let's get straight into this reaction, y'all. 32 game, what's good, man? Y'all know what it is. It's your boy CJ on 32s. And I'm back with another video, a late night video. Actually, now a lot of people do like this segment. Probably y'all gonna fast forward, but I haven't did like the heavy shopping like this in a long time. So I just want to share with y'all some things that I've watched. Still not going to show y'all around. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty much simple. We're going to put it on my unbit made bed. Which y'all see right here. We got the blue. These are actually new right here. Amiri jeans. Amiri carved in the side. I would like a denim look. I like these. That's hard. That's the first I've seen. I'm going to give me some Amiri jeans so that's hard. They they engraved like the Amiri in the jeans, like they did like the actual cutting and distressing with their name. That's hard. I ain't seen no was a jean brand do that. Not bald man, not purple jeans, not um none of them other jeans, them designer jeans that people be wearing. You know, I'm in the fashion, but you know I don't wear every brand. I don't embarrass every brand, you know what I'm saying? Uh but yeah, let's get more into the video. Usually when they got the rip right here, you gotta go with a smaller size. For some reason, they just fit real, real crazy. So we got the Mary jeans. What should we do first, the Louis or the Fendi? We're gonna do the Fendi. I haven't done Fendi shopping in a long time, guys. So let's see what we got in here. And I got some more stuff I ordered from Fendi. Coming, all right. So this is new, this is out there. New lineup. I stopped wearing Fendi because they had went off into some weird ass like checkerboard stuff. So you can see you got the Fendi going across. This hoodie was dope right here. That's hard. It looked like a windbreaker. Yeah, that's hard. It looked like a windbreaker or like some type of um uh rain jacket. Yeah, because I actually got some shoes from that. Can't go wrong with like these hoodies and stuff living down here in Texas when, when the weather chilly and stuff. You see a lot of people wear uh, little jackets and hoodies and I never really got into it until not too long ago. So I actually like buying these now. It ain't like the Midwest where you need a super big jacket yet. What else we got in here? We got some more Fendi right here. I actually bought this shirt to wear tonight, but I'm not. See in a minute, but 
I de this was definitely a must right here. I love like designer with the monogram, the monograms on there. And I had another shirt like like it was it wasn't like this with the big word, but I love the way it feels and it. My chains messed it up. This Fendi shirt is hard. I like this one. It's got like the black and the gray with it. I, and I just love the way these fit and feel on the body. So we got the Fendi, Fendi shirt. They stole my Fendi shit. I wanna see some more of them to the Fendi shoes. Let's see what we got right here. These are the new Fendi shoes. I'm not a big fan. I don't think I ever owned anything Fendi. I done had Ferragamo before, Gucci, Louis. Um, what else? Uh, I even had Versace before. What other brands? Um, uh, I think I might have had. MC on yeah I had MC on before too. But I never had Fendi before. Like that's crazy. I know it's not that I didn't like Fendi or I like Fendi. I just never thought about getting it before. But yeah. Only most of the shoes for the most part. I got these for these pieces more like a tennis shoe. Kind of like some, some buddies actually, but uh, I just felt they went real good with the shirt. You can see the Fendi. Yeah, they look like running shoes. They're great. You know what I'm saying? It's about putting that shit together. So you can see the gray thing. Magnificent, but they they decent. You know what I'm saying? Fendi. Fendi. I like how they have the gray. And it, it just matched that. And here, we got another Fendi. Let's see. I actually got a sweater coming for these right here. So we got another pair of the new Fendi shoes. That Fendi at the bottom game. Got the gray running through there so you can get away with a lot of stuff when you can't find the brown or the grays. So we got two pairs. We actually got another pair of them um, that stair that I left there until the sweater come. What else we got from Fendi? Blase. Get that shit on. That shit. Wait, what the fuck? Get that shit on. That shit gotta be reversible. Get that shit on. We got another Fendi jacket right here. This jacket is hard. Oh, so that's a jacket inside a jacket, or is that the covering? Like the, the covering, or like the uh. The fucking packaging or something not packaging but y'all know what i'm trying to say like the covering or uh basically like yeah i'm gonna just say the, the coat cover or something so we got another fendi jacket right here big f's you know what i'm saying big f's i like these jackets now like i said before yeah, that's the covering that's what it look like it's about having that shit, you can wear it anytime. You ain't gotta get super dressed up, throw some black jeans on, black tee, and be out the door. So that's why I bought that one too. And I've been wanting a jacket like this. I just, you know what I'm saying? I had to wait till my money was right before I just started buying crazy shit like this. So now I can, and I got it. What else we got? All right, we got some more Fendi shit. I never replaced like all my belts and shit when they stole them. So, you know, with a lot of different. With having all this different Fendi shit, this this is a hard belt right here to me. This they new belts. These they new uh, belt buckles that go with the shoes. So if y'all look right here, I don't know I mean, if y'all fashion people out there, but look on the reverse side with them. Shit too hard, gang. Like that belt. Had to have that belt. Then I actually got a whole brand new Fendi outfit in there that I was gonna put on tonight. I might not wear it. I'm probably not. I'm probably gonna wear the Louis Vuitton. Tonight, man, look, bam, we got the other belt. Kind of match the beige in there. The flipping, got the little Fendi signs on there. So, so we got, 
one more, one more finch belt. I got the browns. I got a whole bunch of reversibles. I like buying the reversibles. These actually go with the Fendi shoes that I got in there. Let me get them. Mm, let me see. All right. I'll show y'all what I was doing. We understand that going to college is a big commitment. And between work, family, and everything else, it can be overwhelming. It's important to find a university that meets the needs of your busy life. It's actually go wear this tonight. Sorry, gang. I don't care. Who, um, not making videos no more? Fuck that. Let nobody invade my personal space. Alarm, cameras, all that shit. I don't care. Not no more. So this is what I was gonna wear tonight. Cause this hard too. So this oh, yeah, that's me. hard as fuck. I am no Fendi make shit like yeah, that. I bought this belt actually to play off. It kind of look like uh, hard too. Nike dunks a little bit. But Fendi's. That's hard though. No man, I feel like I got that eye for this shit. Just like with cars, anything else, I feel like I can put it together. Well, like, they kind of look like uh. Y'all ever had like them feelers? Like them um, them old school feelers like that the uh. That them uh the OGs on the block used to be wearing, like the big homies on the block used to be wearing, like them feelers, them they like white, navy blue and red. They they kind of look like that though. Outside of clothes, anything. So that's what I have bought that belt for. Let me see. All right, we're gonna go here. Good time. Good time. Shit. Oh, this probably, I'll probably say this for New Year's, not unless I find something better, which I doubt. Y'all gotta see these. I mean, y'all gotta see this. This Louis Vuitton shit. All right, so look at these shoes, guys. These are Louis Vuitton. Yeah, them hard as fuck. And they got the number 54 on them. Track joints. Them hard. These is hard. They kind of look like uh, Jordan's a little bit. That cream is hard. Got the white and gray. Already got the belt. I don't think I bought a belt. What else we got? Let me see if I can show y'all this right here. Alright. I haven't did a big shopping day like this in a minute. They got new Amiri. They haven't dropped it on the website yet. I'm just waiting. It's only like two things they got, but I wear this shit when I go out during the week. I'm I'm pretty much bummed out, gang. Black tee and jeans. And that's why I got a lot of Mary jeans because I can just put on a black tee and go. So, this Louis V, sir, I'm probably gonna wear this tonight. Yes, yeah, sir. That's hard. They got to do with the trumpet. I think, I, I think, I don't know who. That's some um, celebrity or a uh, musician. I just don't know who it is. I, I might be wrong. It look like it could be some musician, like old school musician. I don't know. Time. But this, I'm saving this for New Year. This boy was so hard right here. Man, it took a lot in me to get this, but man, I said I like wearing jackets now, especially this time. That jacket hard. Here, shit. And these like limited. Y'all know these pieces be so limited. You don't really gotta worry about that leather pants. money. Be? That shit hard, cause I like leather jackets. Your shit, but it just goes so hard with these shoes because of that cream and white right there. It's just, ugh. yeah. So I'm probably gonna wear that for New Year's. Then I'm probably gonna wear this tonight instead of the Fendi. I'm gonna probably put that shit on, wear the Louis Vuitton. And right here, guys, they dropped these Louis Vuitton shoes that sold out the same day. Don't. I'm trying to get them shoes so bad, man. It's like certain shit that I like. And them, if I can get them, they like the brown checker. Louis Vuitton shoes, so so hard. They done went even harder with this jacket than them. They sold out, and then he couldn't find them over there. Then I got these, so I probably put this shit on tonight. I like some light color jeans. I actually bought the Miri's to wear with this, but I ain't sure I'ma check my closet to see what else type of Miri jeans I got, so. Yeah. That's how we Yeah, they're hard. That white and that orange together play so crazy. 
you need to get like some blue jeans that's like it's like some light colored blue jeans that's hard though bro rocking man pair of louis you gonna wear the white jeans they they go but i already did it so we just gonna uh, even though i got like four or five pair i'm just tired of wearing white jeans so we did a fendi or this tonight that's what it is gang so you know definitely gonna catch y'all when i get out and get in traffic tonight pull up on dating them pull up to the clubs get some lit content new to the channel make sure you hit that like share subscribe comment click that bell turn on all post notifications during 32 games started the video a little different hope y'all like the segment it's not bragging or nothing i'm just showing y'all what i did showing y'all this you know this, the little swag and shit but um it's definitely not bragging guys that's why i really just told y'all the price on one thing i didn't even tell y'all the price on none of this shit um i guess it's not important i only do it not to brag but you know maybe somebody curious um that's why i do it so you know I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next part of the video. And y'all already know the only way the game going is up. Your next day. Pulled up on my boy Bake out here. You know what I'm saying? Another night out. We can't get no sleep when we around Bake ass boy. Ain't no sleep. No sleep, man. You know what I mean? Hold on, man. Let me check out the drip. You cargo. Know I gotta, I gotta drip, this man. nigga got the cargo pocket. Man, you got too many goddamn pockets on. Man. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Where you gonna keep the money at? This is this is this is this is. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, put the drip. Yeah, light, light, yeah. little drip. Hey, okay. the custom wait, forces. Wait, 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 wait. Nobody what you, got these. What you got on your foot, uh, man? It's some force custom, though. Nobody got these. From, uh, yeah. From StockX. Yeah. Don't nobody got these. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Marty say some shit fake. Yeah, man. Marty's still in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man. Tommy Hilfiger's still in. He, he went nice. Tommy Hilfiger's still rich, motherfucker. What you got on your feet, Marty? You got the Gucci's on. You got the Gucci's on. Yeah, man, he says you got that Tommy Hill figure up. <laughs> <laughs> go with the mix back. You on the block of serving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but y'all ain't even peep the hat, though. Huh? Yeah, they ain't even peep right, the hat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got the Louis V. You know I got to put okay, up the gun. Oh, yeah, I see you. Yeah, I see you. Know, you know, gonna do what okay, I do yeah. what I do what I'm doing. Big ass done. fire. Bake the finesse. Uh, big finesse or bake, gang. But we over here at, uh, where the fuck we at? We at Taco Max. We about to go in here and get some food. They got a hell of music playing in there. What they got playing in there? Man, they only play the music when um, a timeout or something happens. Oh, they the got the game. So the game is playing, there. but when it, when like you know, say it's a dead ball, they play a little music and then they turn it off. Talk. So what's the moves today? What's the play Man, today? I was gonna, you know, they got that dude. What's his name? Peasy or something? That theory. That theory tonight. You know, Eddie. You know what I'm saying? Got a section, but you know, Eddie know nothing but a bunch of. Michigan niggas, you know, we don't like to be around people. We like to just keep have our own shit. Yeah. yeah. So, um, probably don't do that. We might do that. We might yeah. try to they come, they came to Detroit. We don't know. I don't yeah. know, man. Wherever the wind blows, man. Wherever, wherever the. Y'all can't even say it. Wherever the yeah. baddies at. Yeah, we're going to keep it like that. Wherever the baddies at, you know what I'm saying? Martin going to be there. Martin said he off the market now. You already did a drip shake today? No, I'm light work today. You know what I'm saying? Light, man. I really we like, like them right there. We really light work. Mary the James. Bone, man. Mary shirt. Thought you was going to throw on a Louis shirt, man. What happened? He probably like, man, I ain't going to throw this shit on. I got some colder than that. You feel me? T-shirt, Mary jacket, boom jacket, light That's work, hard, little bro. chain on. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. Little I'm actually exhausted. Big as hell, talking about <laughs> little, chain. <laughs> little chain, man. Today, man. That's that's about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where the hell Josh? Josh, 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 Jos
R&B Thursdays at, at Mr. X. That's the new wave right now. I ain't gonna lie. R&B Thursdays. We in there, bro. That shit. We in there Thursday. Come play with us. Stop playing with us. Stop playing with us. Get our section. I'm finna lock it in. Lock it in right now. Right now. We in there. R&B Thursdays. Grown and sexy. Grown and sexy. Whole different vibe, guys. We're gonna turn our Fridays into R&B only Fridays. Hey, G Davis, what you think, man? Ooh, I think we should turn gonna bring them out. Wait, what's Fridays? Palm. Man, he need to switch it up, man. Yeah. He need to switch it up, man. Yeah, RB. Too much rap. He's gonna bring a different crowd out. He's gonna bring a different crowd out. Okay. My boy stepping right there. He got that Louis V. He got it down to the shoe. Pull it up in his belly. Stop playing with him. He ready. He finna go in there and get all the baddies. All the cowboy fans. We waiting on Sugar Man to pull up. And uh, don't know to come here. I know, but once he get out here, but we don't know where we going today, guys. We really just don't know what we doing. We just going with the flow. Oh, I ain't even. He came across the Jays. Oh, he. Oh, he got them Jays. Black and gold twelve. You got them in my size? Yeah. Oh, I might get them for me. I'm gonna get the money. Yeah, I'm just gonna have them just to have them. Man, I, where how the hell I hear Beyonce so in love coming out that motherfucker down? Man, that Beyonce loud as hell, guys. But we about to step into this bar. I'm gonna use my. Hey, Marty, your door lock. Unlock it, cause I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use my phone when we go inside. I'm gonna use my phone. We gonna go get some food and go on the inside. Catch y'all in. Thirty two game, man. Definitely another uh, chill vlog. You know what I'm saying with my boy. Marty Mar. What you see? Yeah, yeah. My boy off guard, Marty Mar over here. We just left from the little place I showed y'all, and you know they was in there going crazy for the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? Had all them uh, 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 women in there. Um, who was going to record in there? I don't know if Marty recorded in there. A little bit, yeah. Marty recorded a little in there, but man, they had so much damn copyright planned. Um, I just didn't even bother, guys. So we about to head to this other little spot. This is pretty much what this video going to be, guys. Let's just jump in from spot to spot. It's Sunday. It's supposed to be a Sunday fun day, but kind of slow motion and I'm actually just wore out so all I want to do the rest of the week until it's time to go back out again is I just want to work work and rest you know what I'm saying like that's what type of shit I'm on right now let me put this seat on man I'm gonna feel you on that one bro that's sometimes you don't be on that it be out like that like sometimes you just want to work and then get your rest in on your off day or whatnot like that's how I be feeling like man I done worked hard Nah, it's time to rest, you feel me? I don't feel like going off, like going on no, no date, no restaurant, no club, none of that shit, you feel me? I'm tired of this beat. Man, big ass still got that car, dude. <laughs> Look at him. Who's car is that? That's a rental.
Stay tuned, guys. We got a lot of stuff coming. I also told Marty Bard over here we're going to put his new Benz and a 32 game ENT. But, you know what I'm saying? But he got to sign another Illuminati deal now. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> this nigga said Illuminati shoot. Not even my family gonna help a nigga out now, guys. Damn, it's bro. Over with. Yeah, they don't wanna help a mess get out, you mean? But yeah, hey, my boy ran through a bag. In three I, weeks. How would it feel, man, running through a bag in three weeks? In three weeks. Money ain't shit when you got it, huh? Bro, you just live. Yeah, it, it just run out. Martin was out here living that life. Taking girls to lunch, breakfast, dinner, and even. I told them, hey mom, I spent eight years on this degree, but I hate it, and I really want to change jobs. I'm sorry, I know. They was having snack time. They was having snack time. Yeah, he was, guys. Lunch, breakfast, dinner, snack times. My boy got that. Yeah, you done gave that whole, whole meal plan, my nigga. You done prepped our whole meal for the day. Dior's. <laughs> But we got the Dior's B22. It, it seemed like it lasted a long time because we actually went to Vegas. Yeah, we did. We went to Vegas. We did a lot of shit. Man, bro, that boy blew a bag. Big bag. Fast. I didn't think I was going to do that. That shit was crazy. Guys, things not to do. Learn from your homies' mistakes. Learn from other people's mistakes. Always be better than me. I always say that yeah, my mom. Man. Be better than me. Yes, sir. Martin blew a big bag. I feel like when you got a relationship with somebody, that your man, your buddy, your best friend, whatever it is, your guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like y'all should be able to talk about anything. And I feel like you should be able to preach some knowledge to somebody if you know more than they do. Like, especially if you look at somebody as a big brother or a big homie, whatever it is. You should be able to preach to them like, you know. Mistakes that you done made help them prevent those mistakes. Help them from bumping their head like you bumped their head. You know, be a you know not a role model. Well, you know role model. There's nothing wrong with being a role model to somebody, but like try to give people advice and whether they want to hear it or not, or 
I feel like nobody should not want to hear advice or constructive criticism because that can help you. That can help you get a long way in life. That can help you learn from mistakes, prevent mistakes, and just gain more knowledge and just make better decisions as a whole. So I just feel like if I got a relationship with somebody, if you older than me, more experienced than me, if you've been through more than what I've been through, like, you know, preach me some knowledge, you know. Uh, you know, give me some advice. Give me some, you know, some constructive criticism or just some knowledge, some type of, you know, uh, you know, just knowledge and just uh, information that I may need to know, that I may need to apply to myself or apply to my life, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like nobody should get mad, like, oh, you know, you a hater or, you know, you trying to tell me what to do. Like, it shouldn't be none of that, bro. Like, I feel like I always listen to somebody who knows more than me, who's been more than me, who has more than me, because you can learn a lot from those people, whether they're younger, older, friend, family member, uh, person you in a relationship with, just anything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Studio, long cut, trees cut, all that shit. So what are you going to do? What is the next step? Party and I feel like also, uh, I, I don't mean to keep cutting the video off, but also, like, some people need to learn to loosen up and laugh about some shit. Like, if you did some dumb shit, like, there's no point of being mad. There's no point of bashing this other person about it. Like, just laugh this shit up. I can't believe I did that dumb ass shit. Or I can't believe I did that. I ain't gonna ever do no shit like that again. Or I was just in a moment type shit. Like, I feel like anybody should tell, like, a per be able to talk about some shit and laugh about it. If it's the past, it's the past. You can't take back or change 10 minutes ago. 10 years ago, 10 days ago, a day ago, 24 hours ago, a minute ago. I can't take it back when I, from when I first started this reaction video. I just keep rolling, keep feeling it, keep filming, keep the camera going, you know, keep keep the reaction video going. You know what I'm saying? You can't take back the past. You just got to move forward. I told you. You sold your soul to the devil. Now what you going to do? I told you I'm going to uh, do this DoorDash shit again. All right, guys. Extra money. Party back up, down on DoorDash. Y'all might even see him doing... Uh, Like bro, like it's just entertaining, like hearing people talk. It's just entertaining watching people, cause all they doing is just sitting in the car having a conversation for the vlog, for the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I feel like sometimes you can just get entertained off, you know, people talking, you know, showing their life, showing, you know, uh, you know what they do. They like they um, what you call what you what they call that shit? A day in a life, like some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just feel like, you know, that's entertainment. And it's like you just being yourself. You feel me? And people gonna fuck with you for being yourself. People gonna fuck with you for being you and just showing your life. Whether you rich, successful, whether you average like everybody else or, you know, poor, whatever. Like, people will respect you and like you for you. Just be yourself. Like, you don't gotta put on this image for the camera. You don't gotta make it seem like you just... You this big timer or you this show off or none of that like bro people respect you just for being yourself like the support will come the hate will come but it's like fuck the hate like the support is what matters and the support will come the support will eventually outweigh the hate you know what i'm saying like people gonna fuck with you for you being yourself but i just wanted to add that and say that real quick for this video next few videos gotta get back on the schedule posting my shit on time it's been real real crazy down here and we've been partying two weeks we party and work, but it's not the work how I want to do it, guys. I haven't been having the work at the, that I want to have because I get up so late. So when we get up late, it's already nighttime with this stupid clock shit going back. And then it's like, what am I going to do now? Sunday is always a hard day to vlog. If you're a vlogger and you need to go out and really do shit, on Sunday is a lot of things closed and a lot of things closed early. So it's not really no place for you to go. Sunday is like a stale day. It's like a...
Look, if you work a nine to five, you actually sell something, whether you know it or not. You sell your time. And the reason this is a problem is because if you want to build wealth and you want to go- He ain't lying, and but cause, do all the we ain't about to watch the advertising, but he ain't lying, though. Get, stay on me, you know what I'm saying? It's like nothing moving, nothing in motion on Sunday, you know what I'm saying? Like seven day of the week where you're just supposed to keep your ass home and relax and prepare for the work week on Monday. Kind of how it is where you ain't on, you want to race? Fuck is they doing? Crash. Fuck is he doing? Twerking in the passenger seat? For <laughs> real. I need the content, babe. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it, babe. Slow down, babe. I also gotta do a different type of uh, raffle broker that I haven't worked for shit. What the end? Uh, uh, 19th of this month. Alright, if you haven't entered Marty Marge raffle for his iPhone, you can go click the link on the Instagram channel. And where else they can find it at? Oh, yeah, they know on my YouTube channel. You're gonna see it on the description and the comments in every single video. Well, yeah, so you can win an iPhone 14 Plus with $10. iPhone 14 Plus. $10. It's not the small iPhone, it's the big iPhone. The big one? The big one. Not the little I got a confession I'm going about my first iPhone. Yeah, bro. yeah. Man, what in the fuck do these Dallas people be doing, bro? These motherfuckers. Well, you don't gotta do that. You can not drive. Raffle and win it, you feel me? It's your raffle? Yeah, then you can just win it. Oh, uh, no, I you need gotta win. I just need $20 now. You can sell me the phone, you know. Just <laughs> no, the phone was $1,100. Yeah, I mean, ain't shit. <laughs> so, are you close to making your money back yet, or? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm at 1070 Oh, okay. Well, Martin just did a raffle with no profit, guys. So, please, <laughs> please go help go help him out, man. He's the less fortunate right now. So, help him out, gang. Yeah, go to my GoFundMe. Yeah. My raffle. I'm going to be starting one for my him. My raffle so is my GoFundMe. Go find the beans and go find Marty Mar. <laughs> Yes, sir. That's your funny. Well, we about to go to the next location, guys, man. I'm probably going to take y'all in there. This is I'm just bullshitting. But this week, I'm going to be back on it. You know, the next video is going to be lit because I'm actually going car shopping. And uh, this is the real car shopping video, not, you know, just going to look around. This is something I'm definitely interested in and something you guys definitely uh, want to see me in. It's a lot of cars and shit dropping again. And I cleared up and paid off a lot of cars and did a lot of shit. So I got a whole lot of open credit and I got a whole a lot of money I can spend, so hey man, y'all stay tuned to them. Man, stay tuned. You know what it is, don't you? Or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told yeah, me. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I, it seemed like the rest of the video, uh, one there. Not. Seemed like the rest of the video, they just having a good time, y'all. They all clubbing, having a good time, you feel me? Living their life, so, um, you know, I ain't gonna play the rest of the video, not to... Now I want to watch the rest of the video. I can go watch the rest of the video on my own time. I just ain't want to make this reaction too long. So I'm going to end this reaction here because my camera, uh, it seemed like it's about to die. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to end the reaction here. I appreciate y'all tuning in, watching this video, watching this reaction with me. Uh, I mean, watching this video, doing this reaction with me, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, CJ, you know, he having a good time, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to do a reaction video on him because I haven't did a reaction video. None of his content, you know, I've just been a, a, a loyal subscriber and, uh, you know, video watch. Uh, I've been watching him and CJ so cool for a while, like, even before they got to where they at now, like, um, and it's like, they kind of inspired me to want to be a YouTuber, like, pretty much a lot of the YouTubers that I watch, that I subscribe to, um, kind of uh like inspired me to want to do youtube like not even for the money it's just you know just at be, being an entertainer like i got a passion to be an entertainer and you know like just make a content for people to watch joy get entertainment uh from and you know just learn a little bit about me at jd reacts learn about you know type of things that i watch type of things that i'll be on youtube and you know my life and i'm gonna make more videos 
uh, you know, step outside my comfort zone, out the box, make more type of videos, more type of reactions. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, you know, keep watching, keep looking. And, you know, see see how I'm coming, see what I got uh, up my sleeve for y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm in the video right here. Uh, if y'all want to watch the rest of the video, y'all can go on this page. It's on his page. He just uploaded it, so it's one of his recent most uh, most recent and um, you know, new uploads. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, appreciate y'all once again. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like for this video. I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all stay tuned.